What we want to point out is very clear. New York State paid Gyro $26.3 million in 2006 based on an appraisal requested by the state which was done using a light industrial status valuation. The company's outside appraiser arrived at $125 million value based in part on anticipated zoning changes from the current light industrial status to plan development district. So Gyro felt that they were owed more and sued New York State, which was actually the State University of New York at Stony Brook, who was using the land to build an observatory and other research buildings. This suit was filed in 2006. Trial in the Court of Claims occurred in 2009, and the company was waiting for a final verdict coming this year. And remember, this year is in 2010. So if you were to fully value the damages of $98.7 million, the difference between the $125 million appraisal and the $26.3 million the state had already paid, plus legal fees and statutory interest owed at a rate of 9% per year based on a New York state law, the potential upside for this business could be roughly $139 million. If the company were to lose, they'd actually owe the state roughly $4.4 million based on the overpayment of the state's appraisal by $3.87 million and $570,000 in interest paid all in 2006, plus litigation costs of, say, $1 million. Now, this company looks to be getting by at this point, waiting for this case to be resolved, so a liquidation value for this business is reasonable here. We go through the liquidation value in a best and worst case scenario. You could do the same by looking at the individual properties they own, when they purchase them, fair value today, and then determine your own value for the properties. The rest of the estate is straightforward. So in a best case scenario, the company's asset value would be worth roughly $33.4 million. So that's what we're showing right here. So we go through all the assets. We go through all of the other balance sheet items and we're left with 33.4 million. And in a worst case scenario, the asset value would be worth roughly 26.9 million. Next, looking at the eminent domain case, if the company were to win, the best case value of the total estate would be roughly $172 million. And worst case value would be roughly $21.5 million after paying back the state of New York its overpayment in 2006. Netting liabilities against these asset scenarios, we can see there is a huge range of outcomes here. But the outcome is basically binary. They either win in court and the stock price is worth $115 a share, or they lose and the stock's worth zero. Technically, the net asset value in this worst case would probably move up a bit if the company takes its time to monetize the assets. So a four to eight dollar stock price is fair, but from today's $42.50 stock price, it's basically a total loss. So the risk reward here is roughly $70 to the upside while risking $40 to the downside, or roughly 1.75 to one times. From a timing standpoint, the first court battle has concluded after roughly three and a half years in the making, depending on when the ruling is given by the court this year. While the outcome of this decision will be extremely important for equity holders, it probably won't mark the end. Appeals will probably be undertaken, so full realization of outcome, either positive or negative, could take another two to three years. So from an IRR standpoint, your upside IRR will be closer to 40% IRR over a three-year period, based on this upside of $70 while the downside could be managed depending on the outcome of the first ruling, meaning the stock might only lose 50% of its value to the downside, given the possibility of an appeal overruling the initial verdict. So now the upside versus downside is a little bit more manageable. However, we won't opine much on whether or not such a decision should be made as an investment. We're going to note options traders who face similar binary outcomes usually won't make an investment unless it's a 3 to 1 ratio of upside to downside or better odds. What we would recommend is trying to increase your edge one way or another by learning more about the business, the case specifically, and you could even engage attorneys with knowledge or experience in such cases to provide their opinions.